the next thing what we are going to do is to add next auth. Uh, this library is used for authentication in npm install next auth. So this command will install the package of next auth called the version is 4.10.3 and uh, API. First of all, we need to create a file with the scare brackets, which means any route related to this package will be redirected to this file and three dots. And the next thing which you need to add next auth dot js and uh, this would be the name of the file which will handle all the next auth routes and in this file what we need to do let's move back to the documentation it will tell you that we need to do something like this so for now let's copy this code this code is about the github uh, credentials into our index file we may need to add some routes for the sign-in process before using the sign-in what we need to do is to change our session so let's copy this file and replace it in your app.js file all we need to do is to wrap this component around the session got from the next auth react folder and we need to wrap our component with the session provider so that the session would be available throughout our component of the next js app so that was all the stylings and the global.cs import here would actually allow you to use this CSS file throughout your application. So that was the thing we need to change in the app.js. We are good to use the next auth now. What we need to do finally is to create, we can create a login button separately or we can reuse this code into our main index. So let's create a login button and copy this code and create a new folder. We already have the components folder. Let's simply create login button.js file and just replace the code uh, next auth login button. I know this uh, name is a little lengthy, um, but let's stick for that. And we have this button. We can use this button into our index file. Let's import next auth login button and simply add this button into our index page. So after that, if you go back and npm run dev, it will run your application into the 3000 port. You can navigate to this URL and uh, localhost 3000 will redirect you to the your app. So. Um, besides this about button uh, what you can see is uh, the status which shows that you are not signed in and here is the sign in button if you click onto this button all the page it redirects you is for the next auth so these are the api routes handling the next auth api slash auth and the error page so this error page is into our next auth.js library 
it says this action with the HTTP GET is not supported by the next auth. So that's the reason the next auth is handling the routes. So the next thing we need to go back to the documentation you can navigate to the credential providers which we are going to use in this tutorial so if you scroll down you will see this credentials and uh, let's navigate to the uh, thing and uh, use this below or above your github provider doesn't matter username type text placeholder you can simply username it and the password and the type is password these two fields are the form fields in your login page which would be redirected from the next auth you can simply remove the github provider if you don't need it and uh, it will this function will authorize the values returned from this form so it will check the authorization you will get these two fields in the credentials object and for now we are not checking any object any credentials we are simply allowing anyone who logs in let's see uh, how it will act in our application so far um, it will auto refresh uh, it is still uh, this action with the HTTP get is not spotted which is simply debug to true you don't have the next auth file uh, but you will say that we have next auth file in the API but you have this in the wrong folder you need to move this to the auth folder under the API and let's simply uh, move this for a file into the auth uh, folder and uh, hopefully this will resolve this error and if you go back and uh, try to sign in you will see the credential page so yeah if you if you click the sign in with credentials because we are not checking any uh, credentials we are simply returning this uh, user so it will sign in you uh, regardless if you add any input in these fields or not so um, that's the pretty thing for the authentication or you can change the code here like this if uh, credentials dot username is equal to some name and credentials dot password is equal to some password then you return the user and if you return now it means the credentials are wrong so simply return the null here and now these lines are not accessible anymore so simply uh, save the file the code will be auto reloaded and you can uh, if you go back to the home page and it says not signed in let's sign in and you need to if you add anything else than the credentials it will say sign in fail check the details you provided uh, you provided our tech so some name and some password uh, would hopefully allow us to get signed in so that's the thing you need to know about the credential providers and uh, you all you need to do is simply check these two things from your database and this topic is uh, for our next tutorial so if you want to know how to add some database to make your users and check the credentials from the database please don't forget to say, uh, subscribe so and uh, press the bell icon so you get notified uh, when uh, I upload the new tutorial if you have any question uh, please leave comment below 
and uh, I will try to answer that and if you want uh, some uh, tutorial about the next JS something special uh, you can comment that as well so thank you for 